Hello guys and welcome to the final game of the 18-19 season. We're heading off to Wembley. I can't think of a better way to finish it. Filed, Leighton Orion, FA Trophy final. A win for a win for Fylde will mean redemption for the defeat in the playoff final. A win for Leighton Orion will complete a historic double for them. And a historic double, I think, in non-league football history, if I'm correct. Um, so yeah, we're heading off to Wembley. Let's, well, let's go. We'll see you in London. Okay, I'm at Doncaster Station now. Um, I have to wait till half past to get my train. Um, but it is an absolute, yeah, it's a ball like waiting for a train. But well, hopefully we'll see you in London. Hello. <laughs> in London now, so I'm going to go and get a tube down towards uh, Wembley Park. So we'll see you in Wembley, yes. Who? Made it to Wembley. It is. I don't know what time it is. But this, what a way to end the season here at Wembley Stadium for the final, for the FA Trophy final. There's loads of Lane Orient fans, and I'm not too surprised by that. But we will see you in the ground now. This is crazy. 11 years. Last year, back in 2008, sat up just over there watching Rovers go to the championship. Now, it'd be an historic day for Lane Orient. Can they complete the double? Both, I mean, both sets of managers have probably deserve a lot of credit. Dave Chowner and Justin Edinburgh they deserve a lot of credit. Um, can Fylde get redemption after losing the playoff final? We'll see. Um, two players so careful today. McCauley Bond with eye down for Lane Orient. Been absolutely one of the stars of this season in the National League. And of course, Danny Rowe, who we saw back at Stockport in the semi-final, you know, scores when he needs to. Um, but if I'm going to go with my head, which I think I am, um, we go for a late Orion win today. And I think it's going to be 3-2, actually. So we're going to go for 3-2, five goals. So we'll see for the first half. Let's do this. What a way to end the season with the FA Trophy final. Everyone needs to see great history today. Can Lane Orion become, become double winners for the first time? Or can Fylde get redemption? Let's do this. Game time sign now. What support from Orient today, fantastic, 23,000 here, brilliant. Oh. Through the board island to Orient very nicely. Um, in these first four minutes, it's not been, it's been a little bit, well, they're just two teams just sussing each other out, it's still no no in a minute. Great save, Danny Rose from Danny Rose shot, but still in here. Hey. And that two really good opportunities there, filed. Wow. Danny Rose shot, it was a good save from David Brill, it was a brill save. And they hit side net, still nil-nil at the minute. What a strike on Cap from, from Reed there. The file, what a try and produce another top save from Brill. Mm. Going forward, Father, uh, going forward, Father, excellent. Oh, and it's away, still nil nil. And he's offside. Mm. First corner of the game, well, not first, but like first of Orient in the game. And, um, they need to get hold of it. They need to get hold of this Lane Orient. If they want to, if they want to win this game, not been a, a great first half from them. Been, like I said, they've been wasting the ball too often, but they have a chance here to the score. Come on! Oh. 
Half time nil nil. Um, a bit flat, in my opinion, for the first half. Um, I think that there, there, there have been chances, but meh, not not chances I would have said, yeah, clear cut, but there have been half chances. Um, and really, filed in this first half, I've been the better side, I, can, I have to be honest. Um, before we need to win, they've got to, they've got to be a bit more clinical with their passing. I mean, they've had some decent half chances, but they're not taking them. But the passing and keeping hold of the ball is the key for me. But we'll see for the second half. Like he's got Captain Ray sealed on. Atmosphere's been good. Um, full credit to all fans today. Really, really good. Um, they've got a corner here. He's in. Oh, he's in the post. Oh, again. Two. Oh, oof. Oof, four. Okay, so as previously saw Danny Rowe hit the bar in the last in the semi-final against Stockport. Is he uh, one step further? Let's find out. Nice. What a free kick. And he has gone one step further. It's a brilliant, brilliant free kick. And it's 1-0 to Files. Right then, 10 minutes to go. Are we going to get an equaliser from this free kick? We'll find out here. Oh! No is the answer. It's amazing, 42,000 in both, both, both finals. I'll tell you what, it's one of the reasons why I love non-league football. You know, passion you get that is so much better than the football league in some cases in my opinion <laughs> making too many mistakes but they've got to they've got to play the ball quickly here they've still got at least four minutes left maybe less than that now are we going to get an equaliser i don't know i really don't Breaking for Orion, but we'll speak in a sec. So yeah, I just want to say uh, huge congratulations to Fylde. You know they got the redemption after uh, getting uh, after the playoff uh, heartbreak. Um, yeah, um, Lane Orion, you know, unlucky, unlucky to them. Um, but they'll be going in the football league next season. Uh, as for the game today, it was it was a bit flat first half. Um, I would say. Well, for me, Fylde had bit. They had more of the sh more of the share of the chances, especially, you know, making Dave Brill have um, you know testing his work. Uh, second half, both sides were much much better. They um, they they both came out very well. Late night, had a catalogue of chances, really to win the game. They should have done, but it took a piece of brilliance and uh, Danny Rowe, who gets in the headlines for all the rights and the wrong reasons sometimes. You know, he's. Um, class player and uh, what a good free kick it was and it was fit to win any game um, but yeah what a season it's been and a brilliant way to end it uh, there will be a top five 
best match days I've done this year, especially on this channel. Um, and that'll be probably Tuesday or Wednesday, and I'll put that on Twitter. If you're new around here, make sure you give the big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, because we are on a journey, and I want to take people on this journey. So yeah, we'll see you this week with my top five. Bye.